Welcome to topic 7 entitled e-business systems. This presentation is the first part of this topic and we have this objectives. The first one, identify the following cross-functional enterprise systems and give examples of how they can provide significant business value to a company. We have enterprise application integration, transaction processing systems, enterprise collaboration systems next objective to give examples of how internet and other information technologies support business processes within the business functions of accounting finance human resource management marketing production and operations management so those are the objectives for this topic Let's discuss about enterprise business systems or e-business. Means using the internet, other networks, and IT to support electronic commerce, enterprise communications and collaborations, web-enabled business processes. So electronic commerce or e-commerce is part of enterprise business system. So what is this e-commerce? Take note of this term. It is the buying selling and marketing of products services and information all by the internet and other networks we have this model about cross functional enterprise applications so across the boundaries of traditional business functions and this model used being used to re-engineer and improve vital business processes all across the enterprises so the customer feedback, market research, and market test, it's in the marketing side. While from market research, market test, component design, product tests, product release, process design, and equipment design, it involves uh, R&D engineering, okay? While process design, equipment de design, and production start, it's part of manufacturing. So this model deals about cross-functional enterprise applications. So companies first move from functional mainframe-based legacy systems to integrate cross-functional client-server applications. So last topic we discuss about what is this client-server application. And this typically involves installing enterprise resource planning, supply chain management, or customer relationship management, or CRM. So these are software, software just like SAP or SAP, America, PeopleSoft, Oracle, and there are other supply chain management or CRM software. So instead of focusing on the information processing requirements of business functions, such enterprise software focuses on supporting integrated clusters of business process involved in the operations of a business. So we have here a model of enterprise application architecture. Kylie studied this model, what are the different elements of EA architecture. This framework provides a conceptual framework that helps visualize the basic components, processes, and interfaces of major e-business applications and focuses on accomplishing fundamental business processes with customers, suppliers, partners, and employees. So what is this ERP? It is a system that concentrates on the efficiency of internal production, distribution, and financial processes. So we're going to differentiate this type of system. We have CRM or Customer Relation Management. The system focuses on acquiring and retaining profitable customers by marketing, sales, and services. And we have Partner Relationship Management, or PRM. It is software that aims at acquiring and retaining partners who can enhance the selling and distribution of products and services. Supply Chain Management focuses on developing the most efficient and effective sourcing and procurement processes. And we have Knowledge Management, or KM. This system focuses on facilitating internal group collaboration and decision support. Now the EAI, 
how does abysses interconnect some of the cross-functional enterprise systems? So EAI software connects cross-functional systems, serves as a middleware to provide data conversion, communication between systems, and access to system interface. I hope that this time you understand the meaning of this word, middleware. So this is the model of EAI. You see front office, the customer service, field service, product configuration and sales, order entry, and there will be a two-way communication going to the back office. And you say back office, the distribution, manufacturing, scheduling, and finance. This explains how EAI works. So from that model, Take note of the following steps. Okay, let's proceed. Transaction processing system. What does it mean? The system's cross functional information system that processes data resulting from the occurrence of business transactions. When you say transactions, include sales, purchases, deposits, withdrawals, refunds, and payments. And we have the term online transaction processing or OL. TP. It is a real-time system that captures the transactions immediately. And we have OLTP that adds value to the company's products and services and thus gives them an important way to differentiate themselves from their competitors. I told you a competitive advantage. So this is the model of the transaction processing cycle. The data entry, the first step, the transaction process could be batch or could be online or real time. Then any data will go to the database maintenance. And the data will be displayed to document and report generation or inquiry processing. So transaction processing systems capture and process data describing business transactions, update organizational databases, and produce a variety of information products. You should understand that this is a transaction processing cycle of several basic activities. First one, we have data entry. When you say data entry, the first step of the transaction processing cycle is the capture of business data. So we have here an example. Transaction data may be collected by point of sale terminals using optical scanning of, of barcodes and credit card readers at the retail store. So if you're going to purchase in a retail store, what the cashiers are doing, that is the data entry. So transaction data can also be captured at an e-commerce website or the internet. The next step, transaction processing. So process data in two basic ways. It could be batch processing, where transaction data are accumulated over a period of time and processed periodically. And the other way is real-time processing or that is also known as online processing where data are processed immediately after transaction occurs. So all online transaction processing systems incorporate real processing capabilities. Next step, I mentioned about database maintenance. So an organization's databases must be updated by its transaction processing system so that they are always correct and up to date. So the results will be based from the data stored in beta database. That's the importance of databases. Therefore, transaction processing systems serve to assist in maintaining the corporate databases of an organization to reflect changes resulting from day-to-day -day business transactions. And we have here an example, credit sales made to customers will cost customer account balances to be increased and the amount of inventory on hand to be decreased. So it should be synchronous. Database maintenance ensures that this and other changes are reflected in the data record stored in the company's databases. Next is the document and report generation. So transaction processing systems produce a variety of documents and reports. Examples of transaction documents include purchase orders, paychecks, sales receipts, invoices, and customer statements. And other reports may take time to form transaction listings such as payroll register or edit reports that describe errors detected during processing. We have also inquiry processing. Many transaction processing systems allow you to use the internet, 
internets, externals, and web browsers, or database management query language, or to make in queries and receive responses concerning the results of transaction processing activity. It's stated here, typically responses are displayed in a variety of pre-specified formats or screens. Uh, example, you might check on the status of sales order, the balance in account, or the amount of stock in inventory, or receive immediate responses to your PC. We have another term, Enterprise Collaboration Systems, or ECS. These are cross-functional information systems that enhance communication, coordination, and collaboration among members of business teams and work groups. What are the goals? We have here 3C, Communicate, Coordinate, and Collaborate. Let's say Communicate, share information with each other. Coordination means or coordinate, organize individual work efforts and use of resources. We'll collaborate. Work together cooperatively on joint projects and assignments. This is the model of ECS tools. So we have different uh, system or software used for electronic communication tools. We have email, instant messaging, voice, faxing, web publishing, and paging. For electronic conferencing tools, we have data conferencing, voice conferencing, video conferencing. We have discussion forums, chat systems, electronic meeting systems. When it's a collaborative work management tool, we have calendaring and scheduling, we have task and project management, workflow systems, we have document sharing, we have knowledge management. We have functional business systems. It refers to a variety of types of information systems that support business functions like accounting, finance, marketing, operations management, and human resource management. Think that the model of the functional business systems in terms of marketing, customer relationship management, interactive marketing, sales force automation, and for human resources like compensation analysis, employee skills inventory, we have your personal requirements, forecasting. For finance, cash management, credit management, investment management, capital budgeting, financial forecasting. And you will see here for accounting, we have order processing, inventory control, accounts receivable, accounts payable, we have payroll and general ledger. And for production and operations, we have manufacturing resource planning, we have manufacturing execution systems, and you will read here process control. Let's go about marketing systems. What are the systems? They're concerned with planning, promotion, and sale of existing products in existing markets. And it is also concerning with the development of new products and new markets and better attracting and serving present and potential customers. So these are the goals of marketing systems. So we have here what are the integral features of market information systems. We have interactive marketing, we have sales force automation, we have customer relationship management, sales management, market research and forecasting. We have advertising and promotion. And we have here project or product management sorry for that. When you say interactive marketing, it is a customer focused marketing process. It uses the internet, internet, and extranets to establish two way transactions between the business and its customers or potential customers. What are the goals of this interactive marketing? First, profitably use networks to attract and keep customers. Second one, get customers to help create, purchase, and improve products and services. When you say targeted marketing, it's an advertising and promotion management concept with five targeting components. What are the five components? We have demographic or psychographic. We have context, content, community, and online behavior. Targeting marketing has become an important tool in developing advertising and promotion strategies to strengthen the company's e-commerce initiatives as well as its traditional business venue. So we have here the components. Community, what does it mean? Customize ads to appeal to specific virtual communities. Yeah, it refers to community. When you say content, ads placed in a variety of selected websites aimed at a specific audience. We have context. Ads placed on web pages that are relevant to a product or service. 
Next, we have demographic or psychographic. These are web marketing aimed at specific types or classes of people. And we have here online behavior. It deals with the promotions tailored to each visit to a site by an individual. What are the preferred products? That ends the first part of topic 7. Next presentation will be the part 2. If you have queries or you have doubts or questions, just send an email. Thank you very much.